Hello, today we have nacho tops. These are essentially the best part of the nachos. The tops of the nachos with the crispy cheese and the great toppings. And I'm going to show you how it's done. It's very simple. We don't need a lot of ingredients and it's low in carbs. In fact, all we need is one ingredient, really, and that's cheddar cheese and a silicon muffin tin. So all we're going to do is make those crispy cheddar crisps by putting one tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese into each of the containers of the muffin tin. And we're going to flatten that out by giving it a little bit of a shake. And we're going to use the microwave. And all it takes is about 15 seconds per chip. So if you can, I have six chips there, so it's going to take about 90 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going to put that in the microwave, and it's very quick. And I'm going to show you inside how this is bubbling away, getting all the moisture out, and also heating the oil so that the chips brown evenly. And this is really the best way to do it. I've tried it in the oven, uh, but the microwave is the best and the quickest. So after about 90 seconds, this is what you get. So essentially they're ready to go. Uh, they're a little warm, uh, they're dried and crispy, but at this point they're still malleable. So you can form them into a taco shape or whatever shape you want. But essentially they're ready to go. And once they cool down, they are ready to eat and they're delicious as is. It makes a great snack, but we can add something more to it and make it like a nacho. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of onions, a little bit of jalapenos if you like that spice, and of course, tomatoes. And we're just gonna to top these up by putting a lot of sour cream to get that nice fatty goodness and then some, uh, some of the tomatoes and jalapenos to get that freshness as well. And there you have it. It's ready to go. And now the best part, it's time to eat. So I'm gonna take one of these and I'm just gonna rip it and look how nicely it snaps into two. And you can see all that nice sour cream. And I'm gonna give this a taste and I want you to listen to this crunch. Just to tantalize you, uh, have a listen. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite snacks. And if you're looking for this recipe or other recipes, please visit ketoinfo.com recipes. And until we see each other again, goodbye.